New numbers released show buyers are having to navigate a seller's market with an ever-changing variable, the median sales price for a home. WPTV News Channel 5's Michelle Casada explains tonight how across our viewing area, really, the increase is close to 20% and above, pricing buyers who were in the game out of paradise. A dream home for his daughter to grow up in. That was actually the, the whole reason why we started looking at it was for my little girl. Felix Menendez and his wife have made about 15 offers for homes in Palm Beach County over the last year. I thought that uh, having like a strong cash position, having awesome realtors, I thought I'd definitely have a house by now. According to the latest report from the Broward, Palm Beach and St. Lucie Realtors Association, the median home sale price in Palm Beach County continues to climb. It's now 535,000 as of last month, up nearly 19% since February of 2021. In Martin County, the average sale price of a home is 522,500, up 24%. In St. Lucie County, it's 350,000, a 27% increase. I've had just a handful of buyers that sadly have been priced out of this market. The median number of days to contract in Palm Beach County has gone down from 30 to 13. These sellers are getting 100%, sometimes even above 100% of their asking price. So the days of buyers being able to come in and have a little bit of negotiating power, those days at this moment are long gone. For sellers like Robert Griffiths, the ball is in his court. Bought it for investment. He purchased this West Palm Beach home east of Dixie Highway last August for $785,000. Now the market's, you know, getting, you know, the way it is, it's increasing. So I just, uh, you know, put it on the market and see if it'll sell. Now listed at a whopping $1.5 million. These homes are actually appraising. Realtor Laura Saintilis says cash buyers and those going way above asking price are still the main obstacle for the average buyer. I actually just worked with two cash deals um, and it's it goes very fast. Cash is king. It's made Felix increase his budget. Offering 20 grand, 30 grand, like that's a solid offer. Someone coming in. 60, 70, 80,000, I've even seen $90,000 over. Asking an over appraised value. Million dollar homes are being listed left and right on sites like Redfin, many under 1,500 square feet. What I thought a million dollars was a long time ago was like a, a massive house. Now you look at that and a million is nothing. It's, it's disheartening. Michelle Quesada, WPTV, News Channel 5. So what can you do to navigate this seller's market? Some realtors say what has worked for buyers is trying to figure out a number that you are comfortable with and then look for homes below that price range. So then you have a cushion to go ask or above asking price in the future. Although it may be appealing to sellers, don't cut corners by waiving appraisals or inspections and be ready to make multiple offers.